Hello, it's me, Sierra Mist, and I am joined by a super fabulous guest today, Miss Madison Avenue. Oh, me. Hi. Oh, yeah. The, the special guest was at the door, right. but um, I found you on the street. I know. I was delivering Girl Scout cookies. Oh. I just, you know, I happen to have all my makeup with me, so uh, I said why not. What a good coincidence. We are doing a Get Ready With Me video today, and we decided we we decided to take some interest. <laughs> I haven't even drank anything yet. Nope. <laughs> We decided to take some inspiration for our looks today from our go-to cocktails that we might order at a bar. So, uh, why don't you tell the people what your drink of choice is? So, in my Girl Scout cookie bag, I did happen to have all the ingredients to make a very, very delicious tequila sunrise. That is my go-to drink. I love tequila. I love tequila. That just makes me, like, dance and have fun. Um, and so, yeah, I, I was like, I'll make a look inspired by the beautiful gradient. The Girl Scouts are really progressive if they're again, distributing tequila at this point. They're expensive too. Oh, well, so. they had a charge. Yeah, I know. Um, my go-to drink is a Malibu pineapple. Ooh. Um, so a little tropical, a little coconut pineapple moment. Fancy. Um, so yeah, I I just like something kind of sweet and uh, right. beachy because right. it's. You got your spray tan. Holy ritual here. <laughs> Listen, I'm albino, I'm allergic to the sun, so no, you're good. You're I good. needed, you know, to feel the fantasy. I miss the sun. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're we're making it happen. We're on, you know, Planet Malibu. Plug the tequila. Oh! <laughs> the bottle is up. That full. shook the table. Let's take a drink. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. Yes. Where's the Zodiac palette? It's down here. Okay. Ready to I'm go. Ready to see her. In later. the it's in the arsenal. The freaking Anyway, fire. sorry, I just remembered. <laughs> Zodiac palette number one is in here, two and three are in the drawer with the other palettes. Right. So, Buy it in bulk, girl. Yeah, got a stru- st uh, oop. The drink is kicking. <laughs> the drink is kicking. It's hitting. It's hitting! I'm peeking! And to make this fun, to make it a little spicy, I have pre-written questions. Just like drag-related questions, like, you know, like, who should quit drag, like, um, you know, oh stuff gosh. like that. The so list just, is long. <laughs> yeah. And they get progressively messier, so hopefully as we get prog progressively drunker and messier, then we can cause the drama. It's starting, so the mess is <laughs> the mess has begun. Alright, we'll be right back. We're gonna get started on this makeup. We'll get uh, another couple of drinks in us. Uh, sips, not drinks. Okay, that And, um, and uh, we'll be back with the first question. 20 minutes later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jump scare. I said, I'll, oh. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. We're just trying to set everything up. <laughs> um, welcome back to my catastrophe. <laughs> that I mean, that was the point of this video. Oh my god. So. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Are you my therapist? No, I just am. <laughs> we, need, we need to get to Drag Race by 8 p.m. So. Oh my I gosh. Yeah, we're we're on time. We're on time. Okay. Keep moving. We gotta keep moving. Right. <laughs> We're gonna show up to the show like fully, just like this, but drunk. Right. Like, look at that. <laughs> Do you see that? <laughs> Oh, I'm just kidding. Okay, we're just gonna keep moving. Oh we're gonna God. see what happens. So, okay, oh qu God. question number one, I want to ask you. I feel like I'm in school. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, I'm being quizzed. Oh, I mean, it's not a quiz, it's just... Okay. Are there wrong answers? answers? There's no wrong answers. Okay. Um, so my first question is, who, what is your drag persona who is Sierra Mist? Mmm, okay. I think when you... Because I'm such a fan, um, I think in one of your very <laughs> first videos, <laughs> you were just kind of like, you know, like, I just kind of want to do drag, like, I feel like I can do it, like, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, since starting mm -hmm. your journey, has, has Sierra taken form? Has Sierra taken... Taken flight? Take, not flight, but just like, I don't taken know. Taken wind. Is, is Sierra just you in drag, or is Sierra like a character, mm. I guess is my question. Sure, sure, sure. Um... So, well, and it's like, so I made that sort of promise to myself as a New Year's resolution going into 2021. Mm -hmm. So th it's been a smidge over two years at this point. Mm -hmm. Like, we're freshly into 23. Mm -hmm. um, so definitely have, like, felt the realization of that. Um, I would say, so, like, in drag and out of drag, like, Ryan versus Sierra Miss. Mm -hmm. it, generally, they're... Okay, I didn't know if I could say your government name. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's the logo on this <laughs> channel. <laughs> okay. Boop. Wherever it is. Nice. One of those sides. There you go. I would say that we're close to the same. Okay. Um, Sierra Mist is definitely, like, the more um, vocal, vibrant, flirtatious version of me. So drag sort of just, like, naturally does that. It, get, it lets me, like, 
feel tap into that type of energy i think all of it kind of comes through in different ways like a chameleon um like part of why i spell my name the way i do is because of mystique no i was from x-men i was really just thinking that i was like yeah. sierra does give me very mystique vibes yeah mystique is a huge inspiration of mine just like x-men in general Tell us about your drag persona. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> Maddie is very much inspired by every Mean Girl character that's ever existed. Mm -hmm. So my name Madison does come from specifically Emma Roberts' character in American Horror Story, Madison Montgomery. And I chose Avenue just because I wanted like a pun name. It's so cute. But also, I did my research and Madison Avenue is a street in New York and that's where all like the high label like Gucci, like Versace like stores are. But I did not realize there's a Madison Avenue in Indiana. So oh, every I time thought I, that was why. No. So, I mean, I, it, it speaks of me as a person because when people meet me, they're like, oh, we thought you're referencing, like, you're just this gutter bucket <laughs> like, from Indiana. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no! I mean, it's it's aspirational of, like, you yeah. know, you're theatrical and, like, you know, all of those things. But it's also, like, maybe a nod to the, the humble yes, beginnings. Yes, could be. <laughs> um, every time I watch, like, a teen drama or a comedy or whatever show, I'm always drawn to the mean girl. Totally. Every well-written mean girl has like, she's mean for a reason. So why, are, what's your reason? Um, your capitalism. Reason. <laughs> um, uh, God, um. <laughs> what's, wait, you've moved on from brows to concealer yeah. since you gave up on the brow? Yeah. Okay, work. I said I'm done. I'll deal with you later. Right. I'm just gonna drink more and we're gonna eventually get to a solution for it. When you drink, I'll drink. Mm -mm. When I drink, you drink, we drink. You can't keep up with this, huh? <laughs> My setup. Okay, but yeah, but I take a little sips. There you go. My setup, downstairs, all my drag is there, oh. and I play. I put a good Broadway bootleg up on the TV. A Broadway bootleg. A Broadway bootleg. A Broadway bootleg. Broadway bootleg. One hour later. <laughs> Sierra. <laughs> Stick is coming from who are head. your drag inspirations? So there are people who do drag but who are not necessarily considered drag artists. Right. Um, Elvira, Prince, mm. and David Bowie. Period. Um, mostly because like they all invented sort of an alter ego for themselves to channel that type of creative energy, and that's how like the artists or like how we got to meet the artists. Elvira, I think, captures a lot of the energy that I want to and get to enjoy in drag. Like it's. It's sexy and silly, but she's the one creating the joke. Like she's yes. she's in on the joke. She's smart, but she lets you all think that it's like dumb fun or over sexualized, and right. that's very um, that resonates a lot with me. David Bowie has always been like a big inspiration for me, um, just because there's like such a play with gender and androgyny, and like I would say those are the three that kind of like. Um, of real life people that inspire me mm -hmm. um, and I think channel through a lot of my drag inspirations come from from like non-living people it's um, comic books X-Men I was talking about earlier um, like I was a huge nerd growing up so like superheroes sci-fi um, horror movies mm. um, I'm a huge mythology person so I'll like say. Um, I mean, uh, I am the way I am now, I think, because I had, like, all these different, like, interests in mythology, right. and so a lot of that, like, ethereal type of goddess quality is something that I try to evoke when I want to be pretty, but most of the time I want to look like I'm, like, <laughs> <laughs> came early. She squirted up. <laughs> most of the time I want to look like I'm stepping, like, uh, off the cover of a comic book is kind of how Period. I like, like uh, fashion, not necessarily just, like, Hayat, ready to fight, but right. I'm like, there's usually a nod to some sort of nerdy geekdom thing in right. whatever that I'm doing. And you give that nerdy geekdom. <laughs> what are your like inspirations for your drag outside? I know you talked about like some of the characters that influence. Yeah, the name. so like the Regina Georges, the Heather Chandlers, the the Mean Girls, they do inspire me just like as a character. Mm -hmm. But I would say like drag queen inspirations are just kind of like what we think of in terms of drag, just like extra and like all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I would definitely say like I am as as a Gen Z. Mm -hmm. So it's just like I grew up watching Drag Race. So of course the Rue Girls do inspire yeah. me. Yeah. Um, I would say like Gigi Good. I love Gigi Good's makeup. Sure. Um, and so I was like, well now that Gigi Good can just paint like 
a beautiful yeah, girl, model, I can yeah. steal her old drag makeup. She <laughs> said, no, my dad. Right! Even though I'm not doing it anymore because Blair St. Clair told me not to. <laughs> I'm losing my mind over this. <laughs> I need you to move on. <laughs> okay, but, okay, but, um, back, back to you're the Because you're gonna go to the bar like that if you keep this up. Um, like, okay, <laughs> but, like, queens that do also inspire, like, Alaska, mm -hmm. like, Bianca, like, com the comedy queens. Yes. Just because it's, like, yes, you can be, like, a pretty girl, like, you could be a, a pretty performer, go in there, get your pictures, but it's, like, can you hold your own and, like, entertain, be, like, yeah. an audience of, like, drunk, mean, queer people? Speaking of drunk, mean, queer people. A few moments later. And then the basement is like a tavern. Cute. With like giant like barrels of like ale and wine. Like a bunch of pe like cowboys were there. And I always got so drunk off of oh that in that tavern that I was like, I went up to one of them. I'm in a mesh top and leather pants in a tavern in a basement. You said. And I walk up to a cowboy in chaps and with a beard and I said, can I pay your horse? <laughs> Oh my god! And what, what yeah, he was like, yeah, they're like tied up outside if you want to go for them. Okay, here we go, next question. Oh gosh, okay. Buckle Fa up. <laughs> Favorite lip sync performance from any Drag Race franchise? There's a lot of them that I like for probably different reasons. Uh -huh. I think just because it's top of mind where I'm going to start is the lip sync that we had recently with season 15 between Anitra and Sasha Colby. Oh my god. I think it was just an exercise in two people who are very confident, comfortable performers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it could have gone either way for me. I but I like wanted Colby it to more. be a double save. Like it a should have been. Win, especially based on the cup. I think that should have been a double win. And I think Spice and Malaysia needed to be a double get hit the, go to the back. Ooh, I'm just gonna take a Is step. that your first one, Sylvia? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, I'm a good girl, okay? I will say this no matter what. Anytime that I get asked this question, my favorite lip sync is Dita Ritz versus the Princess. Oh, sure. Because, one, it's like, first of all, I love a lip sync, a good lip sync that's an annihilation. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong, I love a good lip sync where they're both giving and, like, it's like, yeah. But no, Dita Ritz owned that Dita song. Dita Ritz owned the song. Two, I. I commend and it's way more impressive to me when a queen can just f***ing perform. She doesn't totally. have a wig reveal, she no doesn't stunt. have like a, no stunt, it's like she's just, she's f***ing Ali King Cole bitch, just f***ing singing. Yeah. And it was just, ugh, that's just, that's just drag, that's drag to me. So I guess I'll never do that, I'll be giving you something to marry who I'm gonna say Right? Shoot. Yep. Okay, thank you. <laughs> ooh, ooh, uh, oh. Right. This feels like such a gift. Experiencing hey. drunk Sierra. Oh gosh. Because I know she's drunk. She only had her one drink. <laughs> what is your favorite outfit worn on Drag Race? Or like a costume or a runway that you really like? Hmm. Hmm. Sorry. No, you're fine. How dare you? <laughs> what comes to mind for me is season seven. It was the John Waters challenge. And RuPaul came out in that uh, bleach blonde afro. And she had the collar dress. Oh. Painted her naked on top of yeah, the that, that is I do lot. not know why, but I just, I love that look so fucking much. Yeah. That, um, she snapped on that one, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Zolby did, but yeah, she, she looked great. She wore it. And I love that there's, like, the print of it in the, in the workroom now. One of the ones that's standing out right now, I don't know why, is, um, Aquaria's step-down outfit, where she was, oh, like, she was Phoenix. the Phoenix. Um, Something about that I really resonated with. Do you have like a runway theme that you really wish like, oh my god, if I were on oh, I'd like, want to do that? Okay. The Halloween ball that they oh, did on season yeah. 11 was hot garbage. Yeah. And then I was less disappointed, but still disappointed on UK season 2. They did a, a runway that was the Monster Mash themed, and they had to mash up two monsters. And I was, both of those, I was like, boo, ladies. Please pack up your shit and leave. Right. Like, I would love to redo that situation, like... Okay, category one, trip or treat or treat, or what are you wearing? Um... I would do, um, uh, either Regina George Bunny or Karen Smith Mouse. Cute. Love. Reference. She loves a good reference. Yeah. Um... I feel like I would be, excuse me, a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> it's fashion, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, Sorry. I'm, I'm burpy. No, you're uh, good. You're good. Uh, I would be a ghost, like sheet over my head, um, drawn on eyes with eyelashes. And a hooker leg. And then just out. 
Yeah. yeah. I like, did that one year when I went to Chicago. I just I did a full like work. sheet with the with black eyes that had little slits so I could like see through them. Yeah. But then it was just full on like shaped leg and, yep. a, and a gold pump. One, I'm not a seamstress. Do you so at all? Do you, are you like I'm a stylist? Do you have people make things for you? Like, what's your approach right. to a look? So, um, I usually. If I have like a concept or idea I want, I really like to um, draw it out. Mm -hmm. And you start it as a, a as a sketch, yeah. as like a little design, like just kind of like. So my boyfriend, shout out to Skyler, hey girl, um, he knows how to sew, and so he has helped helped. He made has made <laughs> outfits for me before. <laughs> He um, assisted. He assisted. I was, <laughs> I would be there with a glass of wine, being like, "Yes, um, I'm, I'm very much right now at this point the queen that pulls pieces together to make." But you've got the a image, yes. <laughs> yeah. So then, let me ask you: How do you go about getting your outfits or designs or concepts together? Sorry, I thought I was inappropriate. No, you're good. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, oop!" Call the ambulance. Come oh. back. Here, let's take it. Um, I can sew, and uh, I sew most of what I wear, mm -hmm. um, and that is usually because I'm like, I've got the vision, and it's just easier to execute in that way. You said you've had some commission stuff that you've done, or you've been interested in that? Yes. I've only ever commissioned wigs. Okay. I've never commissioned an outfit. I've only ever bought the pieces or made Skylar make <laughs> Got it, got it, got it. Um, do we enjoy that process? I also commission my wigs. I'm not a wig girly. I can't. I've tried styling wigs. It's just not my. I just. It's not my gig. Here's the thing. Okay, one of the most recent times I commissioned a wig, and I ordered. It was for Six the Musical, and I ordered like I was. Kath, I'm Catherine Howard in it in the production. So it's like slick back pony, um, ombres into a magenta hot pink at the pony, black black to hot pink. Mm -hmm. And I like had sent this person a bunch of references of like what I wanted. Like I was like, "It's giving this. Here's here's pictures of her like in the Broadway." And it was very Broadway. much like Broadway. And it was very much like, "Okay, work. Like I have these colors. I can make that happen." I mm -hmm. said, "Perfect." And they did tell me at the time. They're like, "We. I just made a major move. So there's like a lot going on. It may not get to you quickly." And I said, "Slay." Um, so, just so you want to hear. So it did not come in time for our latest performance. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of like, okay, whatever, great. We have more planned, and I can yep. wear it for that. Yes. <laughs> I get the wig. Uh -huh. It shows up. Uh-oh. And it is... It's a black high pony, but it has bangs. It's very K-pop wig. It's very, like, Selena. And it was just, like... It was just not what Which I was definitely before. not the vibe, yeah. It was not the vibe. It was, like... <laughs> I was like, I did not ask for bangs. Uh, so like last night I had messaged her. It was fresh. It was fresh. And so I was just like, hey, like I'm a little I mean there was no issue. She's like, I can give you you can keep the one I gave you and you can have a new one for free, which is very nice. Oh, good. Are you <gasps> You were gonna tell me you were bringing this out? She's been over here. I'm sorry, I just now noticed the Zodiac palette. Oh my gosh. I thought she'd be taller in person. Did you? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Eventually. Tell the people what you've done. So, <laughs> everything. I've done my eyes, my blush, powder contour. Yeah. Sorry, this is like when the alcohol hits and I'm just kind of like... <laughs> Who is your favorite local drag performer? It could be, I know you've been in Atlanta and Indy, so it's like, you know. If the indie bits are booger, then say something, someone from Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I mean, well, I'm just—it's open to whoever comes to your to your brain. Ava Morningstar is a big is someone. Yes. Like, oh my god. Every single time I see um, Ava on a lineup, that is like, unfortunately, like I don't get down to Bloomington a whole lot, but um, when she's when they're up here and I, almost famous. So, yeah, 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 it's yeah. it's the moment. Um, if y'all have never seen Ava Morningstar do her grapefruit technique performance, <laughs> you need to f see it. Oh my god, how many? on the floor. Oh. When someone asks me who's your favorite local indie drag performer, my answer will always be Miss Mother Thang. Her name is uh, Miss Her name is Miss Thang. Yes, I guess the mother yes. man, but it's like just she's, she's on the list. She's amazing, she's talented, she's beautiful, and I just love her view on drag and um just like the themes that she has for her drag shows. 
and like she hosts black girl magic at almost famous so like y'all need to come check that out yeah she's also f which guys what <laughs> <about> that <laughs> ah! Ah! who's your least favorite local drag queen you go first wait i think we have the same answer uh, okay. on the count of three one two three kit st clair ah! <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just kidding! No. I, <laughs> I love Kit St. Clair. She's this. not watching this, so that's why we said it. Oh, I love it. I love when a drag dressing room is like that. There's that one booger queen that everyone is just against. How many times have you been to one? Oh, I was thinking of someone else. Oh. <laughs> I'm in, like, the highlighter mode, but yeah, I'm yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I'm also- Ooh! Goat? This was a mistake. What? <laughs> Whose idea was drunk makeup? Me. I am, we're lit, we are detailed, um, I need liner and lashes desperately. Uh-huh, I need lashes. Yeah, so um. we are gonna boot scoot off camera, get the looks on, get the wigs on, get the lashes on. We'll be right back with the final look. Bye, <laughs> That was a journey. Yeah, I know. Oh. A lot of off-camera stuff going on, girl. We had to wrap this up. We have places to be. We are late, but... We look stunning. <laughs> that yeah. was a big glug. Sorry. Hi. Yes, this was a very fun time. Thank you so much for having me over. Thank you for coming. It was so fun to kiki. Yes. To see your new drag room. Very beautiful. Thank a lot you. of ginger wigs, you know. It's as, on as, brand, yeah. Right. But, um, yeah, this is no, not it's a ginger, but. No, but Thank it's you. a slay. It's a little pineapple uh, moment. You so, know, you know, like, you know. You know gotta match the, we match our beverages. There we go. That was the, remember, that was the whole that was point. The assignment. That was yeah. the whole point, and then here we are. All right, um, right. Nips are out tonight. All right, we are gonna go um, hit the bar, tear up the town, cause more mayhem and madness, and uh, hopefully keep our eyebrows glued down in the process. So catch us next time. Uh, again, this has been the lovely Madison Avenue. Y'all know where to find me, Sierra Mist, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.